From today, whatever torments you, I decree you will start tormenting them henceforth. Amen. Staying in victory. Staying in victory. No, God cannot use you beyond the revelation of God's word in your spirit. That's why you must study effortlessly, not to go and preach. You study to know. The Bible says, study to know first. Then when you know, you can't stop showing. That's why in said Timothy, study to show yourself. So every study is for show. So if you are showing in study, you know, they say this is proud. No, you are acting scripture. Salvation is our key to victory. We have victory in him, but salvation has brought victory to us. And 1 John 5, 4 say, whatever is born of God overcome in the world. So when you are born again, your car, your children, your house, anything, even your stove, your gas cylinder is born of God. So when the devil gives it instruction to explode and burn down the house, he can't hear it because the owner is born of God and the anointosphere, that's sorry, the atmosphere of the anointing, that's the meaning of anointosphere, rub on a cylinder. You know, some of you, when God said David is a man after David, now Wyoming man, in Wyoming, when the, the Philistines took the ark and they throw it somewhere, David heard the news of what the ark was doing. Then in another occasion again, they were going with the ark and Uzzah, you get it? Uzzah touched the ark and David saw how the thing killed whatever. Fear entered him. So he refused to take the ark to the city of David. So he said they should keep it in the house of what? Obededo. So that he, he did not that he had Obededo in mind. It was fear of that this act may kill him. Smart guy. That guy started for online business. No, this is the way me I understand Bible. I talk Bible like this. Not, you understand? But at that accidental thing, that you come to church, you can sing, and we'll look at you and say, look, stay in MVP department. God will bless you there still. So you don't need to force yourself to the choir. We can tell you, be washing toilets. That obedient to that, there's a grace that will come on your life. Things that are happening for Obedidum. Read your Bible. Obedidum, within that three months, because it was 90 days, this man prospered so much. David was another jealous man. When he noticed that the, the act did not kill Obedidum. So he was only looking for act, not because he's interested in the act. It is the benefit he will cash out of the act. Yet the man, God will still say he's a man after his heart. What is it you say you have done that condemnation is telling you God have withdrawn but no. He said I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said loving father. There's restoration today. I said there's restoration right away. Now and here. But you don't have God in faith. If you, oh boy. My friend. See, obey the dome. If you check obey the dome, Look at the dimension here. The Bible said that 90 days a lot of things happened. When they took the ark, Obedodon, if you read and study for that, Obedodon went and it became the security at the gate where they keep ark. He stayed there, well, joined the team of some brethren, they were doing worship there. So that the, what he, he saw, the value of what he saw, did not make him. And the Bible says years later that the children of Obedodon, the prosperity followed that lineage. There is an understanding of God you have in covenant and by revelation. And you transact some things genuinely from a genuine heart and passion. Men and brethren, I tell you, there is a lineage prosperity. Because what my generation knows, so much is generational causes. There is a generational blessing that came on Abraham. It showed in Isaac. It showed in Jacob. It showed in Christ and it's showing in my life. Today, it's showing in your life too. Somebody said lineage blessings. Lineage blessings. It's the one you focus on that you see. Because in the kingdom, what you see matters. And what guide you're seeing is teaching. Because if you meet Elijah for mentorship, he will tell you it's not easy to call fire. And he will give you 21 steps to call him fire. Now you are 69. You are still expecting to call fire. Because Elijah is telling you based on his own experience, not the position. But if you meet Jesus himself, you will say, look, my yokes are easy. Please, check the finished work of Christ. This race is easy. It depends on the curriculum. Yeah, yeah. 
say so the salvation to victory salvation is the door to victory next redemption accomplished completely all that was lost in the garden something was lost in the garden let's add it again he deleted it all your past deleted can i hear you say amen amen and they cannot be retrieved this is god talking but you and satan have the record you are a witness to that sin and satan also is a witness so when your heart is condemning you it can't be god don't bring it inside the gospel and, and mess it up he said your sins and your iniquity i remember no more god have that's the only memory problem he has but every day we remind him of the sin we are the one reminding and what you say what you are saying i don't know then the devil say you see you echo it in your mind and you see believers walking in inferiority complex walking in condemnation and as if jesus blood saved some demon and he could not deliver some demon remember he erased it all because that was the tool set a demon stand on to date he said everything we were, we were once read to let's go everything we were once were in adam has been placed onto his what everything we were in the fort on the cross so when you are singing in a cross i love that hymn he is sweet too but just anytime i hear cross that's where sin is the burying ground of sin because jesus died the world died there together and by around 3 p.m they came and took me and him so we left sin we left no we left the law that sponsors sin so with the nature both my sin and his own were all buried we lay into grief and when they came to resurrect him we were all resurrected together and jesus refused to keep me on earth he now took me to where satan was eyeing where you say i will exalt my throne he took me beyond second heaven and now took me to help the third heaven he now said we are now seated with christ Ephesians 2 says in heavenly places so we are seated you know say far above all principalities and power where the devil was eyeing is where i'm seated now that's why he hates you this is the gospel look you are seated with christ we sin now get the gospel complete i'm not in support of sin no but we're telling you the concept the principle of what jesus did on the cross read that translation everything we once were the nature of sin in Adam, the first Adam, has been placed onto his cross and nailed when permanently. That means the sin, the, 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 the law or those past charges did not follow us to the grave. We left it on the cross. So anytime you see cross, it should remind you of where law was nailed. I mean, this is the mindset I'm giving you. As a public display of what? cancellation anywhere i see cross any church i see cross it remind me of where god publicly would cancel the record against me this is a different revelation next verse watch now then he said watch why well, i brought these guys out one to go read then Jesus. he didn't stop there he didn't he left the lord there and went to the grave so tell you no, but jesus went to hell say it Jesus went to hell. If you don't grab this one, you'll be a slave to, to religion all your life. Jesus went to hell. His holiness couldn't stop him. He was made sin. The Bible says, he who knew no sin was made sin. And the moment he was made sin, he was qualified for hell. And the Bible says, he went there. Why did he go there? Because the first Adam lose clothes and discovered he was naked. So Satan have access. The clothes, Satan wrapped himself and become powerful. Then he went. Watch, read now. Then Jesus made a public spectacle of all. How many? The first behind HIV. The first, so when I tell you there are some demons that are too high, we are simply saying that Jesus' blood did redemption halfway. He's of principalities and darkness. What? Stripping. The way they strip him and he realized he was naked. Jesus too went to hell and stripped all the strip so the first strip club was not in certain kingdom i say it was in the garden because adam was stripped of his authority and he became naked he realized he was naked and god said who told you because god doesn't want him to know nakedness so jesus too went to hell read bible get his things and exchange get it well that's why you see satan always wants to counter god 
Because it's, it, this kingdom we are into is a law of one man representation. The 11 places I went to Atlanta 96 and won. They say Nigeria beat Brazil. Did you play ball? But some people represent you. The same way Goliath came and said, Look, Goliath introduced what God have in mind in redemption. And help will say, Kai, David, where are you go? They give me one man. If they kill me, we'll come under you. And if we we'll kill that one single man, the whole Israel. Hey, go say, Ah, this plan where I get. Somebody want to do that because God wants to mass produce one just and several. No, just calm down. Let's break Bible. No, don't be quoting rubbish. This thing, once you just know now, there are things that can near you. So he went stripping away. Jesus too went for stripping. Then it was Satan who stripped through line, through if. Now Jesus did not wait for Satan to strip himself. He went and stripped him, got him naked on the street. Now, have you ever watched in real life where a guy and his girlfriend is quarreling? And right there on the road, the clothes he buy for him, the shoe, the guy remove him, collect him, walk away. Can, maybe John or Kadan. I've, I've, I've seen before. Yeah. You never meet bad guys. <laughs> so the Jesus did it with God. The devil will not straight himself. G- Jesus went to hell. Not because he was meant to be in hell. He went to hell so that you will not go there again. What I'm saying today, in literal term, you have tasted poverty. Your children will not see it again. Amen. Because three generations cannot be poor. All you suffered, even as a bad, you will not want your children to suffer it. The same way, Jesus went to hell so that when you identify with him, you escape hell. This is the simple gospel. God is a law of identification. That's why in Romans, say, if by one man, sin is a command. That's the Greek word. Sin entered. Say so also by another man, righteousness is a command. But we reject what he did. We want to do our own, keeping our ten commandments, our own good. And if your good work will make you go to heaven, God doesn't need to struggle and send for Peter to go and convert Cornelius. Angels would have done. Angels don't preach gospel. Angels would have done the job. So pay attention. So this glorious gospel in our custody, brother, is precious. Share it anywhere. Sir, you can bear me witness. You said you want to ease yourself yesterday. So we packed. You went to ease yourself in Otupo. And a, a lady was selling what? Zobo. I thought it was. I said, is that Kunaya? He said, no, it's Zobo. I thought it's Kunu. He says, I zobo, it's very tasteful. I say, you use sugar. I say, no, it's pineapple. So I say, let me see. I don't need this zobo. He brought the zobo out. He brought, I tasted it. I keep it. I say, bring another one. Then I talk into, I say, how much is it? 300 naira. 100 naira zobo. This is all she carried. And the, all the total in the container is about 15 or 16. I counted 2,000 naira. Monde Leboria. And I asked her, I say, Are you born again? He said, No. Ah, I didn't go to church. I said, What church do you go? So I'm a Catholic. I said, I'm also a Catholic. He said, Hey, really? I said, But you need Jesus in your life. This is relationship. Evangelism don't start to ask him. He was, he was watching quietly. And I said, Please, I want you to receive Jesus. Are you ready to receive him? Yes. Say it after me right there on the road. I don't come down. I sit down. I never pay him. I led her to Christ and that's her money. So, do you choose poverty as an option? So, the 2,000 I gave her is more than all the drink. He said, yes, sir. God bless him. And I gave her prophecy. My eye will see you again. And watch. Any day I'm passing to go, I know this God very well. If I'm kilometers away, something will pull her to the road and I will park again and follow up. This thing is so simple. It's not all about church going and sharing handbill. It's, 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 so, it's a wisdom that can be embodied in you. You can win soul anywhere, anytime. When I go to hotels as I travel, anyone cleaning my room, I must get you born again. As you come to change bed, I will come out. I will taste, I tell you, I will come out. Are you done? All right, excuse me. Are, are you, hope you are born again. Are you born again? Take every opportunity and win souls. 
No, you have special time. Evangelism. Hey, I'll come again. No, look at you. Your life can witness to people. Anywhere, anytime, as occasion demands. Because the devil doesn't have time to attack you. Anywhere, anytime. Police station, he can attack you. In the classroom, he can. You don't hear people slump and die in anywhere. So why were you reserving the time of evangelism? You are a nurse in the hospital, good opportunity. You are a lecturer, good opportunity. Take advantage of timing from this moment. Don't be shy of the gospel. You strip him. Watch now. Stripping away from them. Every word. The weapon that will kill you has been stripped. Man. The weapon that will make you sick has been stripped. Man. Check this thing. And all their spiritual authority and power to accuse us. God have removed it. And by the power of the cross. Prisoners. In a procession of trial, he was not their prisoner. They were his own. So he removed every, every. Hmm? He removed every, every, every. And carried the clothing with him. And the day you come into Christ, Iba, you come again, Iba, Iba, every day. So the, what is strip that Satan took from here, the devil went, God, Jesus went, strip him, and now he gave you power and authority. Men and brethren, he didn't strip some, all. He said, all hail, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. If there is any power working against you now, it is the power your ignorance zone to the enemy. But every power that we use against the devil, Jesus took it and he has given to us. Don't give him that power into your life. So you must stay in your victory. So redemption accomplished completely all that was lost. You and the level Shantala by you. No, let me, when prophecy come, act it out. No man come. Oh God, it's been four years. There's no child. And I mean, he's fighting our child. I say, where is your husband? He traveled. Husband abroad in Nigeria. What, what kind of prayer point is that? You're very stupid. Why you go marry a broad husband? Some of you husband in Lagos, you, you are here. The guy comes on weekend, and the weekend they come. We are not relating. You are just having fun. Because God already set some principle in motion. So you, if you don't have knowledge of those principles, you'll be binding what is not. You are like catching fun. Hey, Pastor, pray for me. Every day, my, my husband is quarreling. Where is him? He's in Sokoto. You are in. Even we, why would they stay with our wife? They still they argue with us face to face, then on phone. Because on phone, you don't even know your mood. Why are you shouting on me? So why are you looking for trouble? If you're not ready for marriage, leave it to stop, stop looking for unnecessary trouble. I'm bringing healing to my generation. Let's stop some things. That things we just argue for no reason. I don't like the way my wife is nagging. Uh, okay, what's your, where's your wife? Uh, he's at home. She's heavily pregnant. Then you should know now. You need knowledge. How do you expect a pregnant woman to be your friend? And in that mood, they don't forgive and they don't forget. Pastor Rema was to go and give birth to the twins. Are you hearing this thing? She said she won't go until some certain timing. Because you already have experience from cheese. I mean, uh, faithful. And she was boiling the water. And then uh, faithful was crying, disturbing her. And... In order to just help her so that faithful will leave us, meet her once in a while, sorry, man. They are now carrying faithful into the bedroom. I was trying to make the faithful say you want to drink visual milk. And I opened the visual milk. Oh, what the thing yogurt? We put, I put yogurt in faithful's mouth. That small portion when me I won't just take was when my wife walked in. <laughs> Up till now, my wife said, he said, you see? Me, I'm, I'm, I'm passing through pain. You know, your daughter is here. Enjoy yourself and enjoy you. But meanwhile, listen, it was she I was trying to help. So my help also be still. That is a, they don't, please, I beg if you want me to need a young man. If you see a pregnant woman begging you for lips or begging you to go and buy anything, if you refuse, she will never forget it. There is something at that moment. And my wife is nagging too much. Check her state. If she's pregnant, it's a normal thing. Go better take note. <laughs> All of you take note. Go, young man. Eh, I don't like. Eh, eh, eh. She's just there. Is you, you are dealing with yourself in her. Your seed in her is fighting you. 
You are seeing the image of yourself there, reacting through her system to face you. You are fighting a double battle. No, you need revelation. So when my wife was saying that thing on the spot, it was three people, Zoe, Divine, and herself, versus me and Faithful. You know, I came to church with dimension today so that you don't just be, it's not anything you bind. There are things you need, you need to just know. That's why we do marriage counseling. Umba. You know, go greet you. Ah, the, the timing is too much. Wedding, 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 wedding. Cake, 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 cake. Decoration, decoration. And then your wedding reception, they put for you, Alaji, Alaji. Look at this, this, look at you. And then one one witch carry away the womb of your wife. Six months later. That is too thin. Let me not say what you please prepare for marriage or leave wedding alone. Wedding is a day, but marriage is what I'm teaching now. That's why on the wedding day, I don't ten minutes were done. I don't like talking because there's no point. All these things you are preaching, they are not with you. They are my, they are testing. I receive them, they are telling the cake man, are you ready? Will soon close. They are no listening. No advice, no they enter. So all our preaching is in that manual of the training during your counseling. Pay attention. And even in counseling, but Bishop Anne was my marriage counselor. Redeem assigned me to her. But today I'm her pastor. I appreciate God over my life. You see how God promoted the man. I'm her pastor today. But she was my marriage counselor in Redeem. Growth is good. Apostle Dajima will say that what separates believer A from believer B is growth in knowledge. Not fighting over position. How when you join the ministry, eh? growth shift men. Growth when you enter spirit, it bring. It's, it's something that differentiates. You don't need struggle. From today, there's an anointing in your life giving you growth. Shortly, you are rising above your equals. Yeah. It is a distinguished oil. Oh yeah, receive it now. I, I didn't remember anything, Bishop. Ever thought God? I'll be so tired. It's a Sunday evening. I preach everywhere. One day in the sofa seat of. The little house. As she was teaching, my wife was just interacting. I slept on all the married counseling. I knew hear anything. It was the only thing Holy Spirit taught me that is still keeping that home. Please get closer to the Holy Ghost, because no home have the same key. I don't know who God is talking to. The relationship expert. Check everybody that wrote book on relationship. They are all divorcee. Don't love them. Well, our wife told Jonathan Bayanum. You know how many husbands she don't have? They can't stay with a man. Because any woman anointing that cannot be submitted to a man called husband, I will respect your oil, but there are limits to some things. Some of them, they are your mentors. And in mentoring, you will also inherit the spirit behind. Some of you, the way you are talking to your husband now, is one mentor you meet online. You are saying amen, but there's a spirit behind them that is also entering. I want to talk to you. Some of you think you have known too much, but you are exposing yourself to some danger that is unnecessary. A home that is just fresh and young, you are exposing it. There's a level pressure will come in. Satan will come in and take over that home. Be careful. Preserve your life and your home for a season. I saw something online and I, how true. It's true. They say any lady now that cannot convert white rice on Sunday to jello for Monday, don't marry her. Especially in this economy, you didn't get this slogan. I mean, you cook it excessively, you are using stew on, on, on Monday, that rice should transform to another color. That is the lady. Oh my God. Stand up on your feet. I'm closing service here now. I'm, I'm stopping. I'll continue my sermon. They're not the finish sermon. Young men under the sound of my voice, Pastor Casey, I've told you during testimony that God will help you to marry and I prophesy. Take note of, eh, I feel like, let's get to E3. E3 Guinea. My. The guy is saving for the wedding. Everybody say, when lies the day, me cold stone. That cold stone, he's saving it for the wedding. Don't be stupid. Seven areas of assured victories. You see, number one, A, 
we are no longer estranged from God in sins and iniquity. Next, we no longer live in fear of God or setting about our relationship with him. He's my father. You can hear many things tomorrow. Next, we are no longer misguided through confusion and wrong decision. You see God. He said it is God at work in us that causes us to will and to do. Paul said, I can do all via who? Through what? The anointed one. We're going to come into total submission via the world. Number four, quickly, we are no longer dominated by sickness and disease. Watch out for healing tomorrow. Next, we are no longer doomed to live in destitution and in need. Poverty must surrender tomorrow. Yes, we are no longer alone and in despair. Because he told you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. F, we are no longer defeated in life's battle. 